Hi, this is Jean Johannigman, and this is my spin on the Board of Works meeting. The first item I'd like to address is the uh, closing of the streets for the sesquicentennial. While all of us in this entire community want to support the sesquicentennial, some of us are being asked to support it just a little bit more than others. And what I mean by that is, last night there was a request made to close down the square for a period of time from Friday until Monday. And that would be done in order to hold events up here on the square. While I appreciate that all events, whether it be the car show, the fall festival, the sesquicentennial, whatever event that may come along, are made to help the economic development of the downtown area. I would also like to point out, with the economic times being as they are, when customers can't reach businesses, it is a hardship on the businesses to lose a day or so of business at this time. Um, I would just merely like to ask that in the future that the city makes sure that all of these entities, whether it be the car show, the fall festival, whoever that it is, the sesquicentennial, that they contact the business owners for approval prior to approaching the city for permission to close the streets. Last night the permission was given and I know my business had not been approached and I checked with one other business this morning and they had not been approached either. And I would just respectfully ask that this be done in the future. The other thing I would like to address is I thought it was kind of interesting that uh, NDOT wants to contract with the city on the Lincoln Street project. And when I say NDOT with the city, the TIF board um, represents the city for the Lincoln Street project. And yet NDOT did not contract with the TIF board. They want to contract with the city through the Board of Works. And that's a very proper way to go, I feel. Uh, however, the contract was presented and the Board of Works members had not had a chance, including the mayor, to even look the contract over. So they held it off. And I want to applaud Herb Hunter, our councilman that sits on the Board of Works, for his action in holding that off until he could read it and make sure before he signed into action this theory. The TIF board has been making all the decisions so that they're going to have to uh, approve any work orders or change orders on this project. It would be nice, too, I agree with Mr. Hunter, to have a representative from the TIF board present at the meetings. That's my spin, and I thank you all for listening. Now let's go on to the Board of Works meeting and the council meetings in their entirety.